This episode of GMK is brought to you by Devil's Gap Marina, located at the end of Matheson Bay Road on beautiful Lake of the Woods and open all year round. TV face. Good morning, Kenora. Welcome morning, to the weekend guys. edition. The weekend, it's Friday, it's it March. It is Friday, it's our, It's March 1st, it's a yes. good, good day. Uh -huh. We've uh, some beautiful weather creeping up on us. Yes, that white so. stuff is melting. Thank goodness. Bye so bye. let's check it out here. Mm -hmm. The uh, The next couple of days, uh, weather brought to you by Casey's. Today is a high of minus seven and a low of minus 17. So Ooh. a little nippy, but not bad. Tomorrow, a high of minus five and again, a low of minus 17, mm -hmm. but again, Pretty decent to be out and about. Mm -hmm. Sunday, high of minus three, low of minus nine with some flurries, which we never asked for and didn't want. But <laughs> on Monday, the best day of the week is a high of minus three, a low of minus nine, a little more flurries. Yeah. So, so for this evening's uh, free hot chocolate and fireworks tonight at the harbor front. Oh, yeah. You might want to bring your bundleys a little bit. Yeah, you know yeah. what? It, it can, you know, as soon as that sun goes down, it yeah. can get a little bit nippy. So I, tonight, the Kenora Winter Carnival kicks off. Yes. So really, really happy. Very, very excited to be there. Shaw will be there six o'clock giving out free hot chocolate, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. The Shaw Bear will be there. Yes. The Shaw Bear. And yeah. uh, Mr. Jay Dawson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll be there from uh, Shaw TV at yeah, the Harbor yeah. Front and uh, he'll be doing TV, uh, TV shout outs. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to be a producer, <laughs> if you want to go down, you can go down there. We have a camera set up so you can take control of the camera. <laughs> and uh, oh. oh, hey, Mr. Bear. Yeah, he's sneaking in there. Yeah, he came, he came all the way from, uh, from a, uh, a far off place to just to, just to come Aww. down to the, uh, the Winter Carnival because you know what? Uh, it is one of the biggest events that happen around yep. this place. So, uh, again, there's also going to be at six o'clock, uh, the Boy Scouts are going to do a campfire sing along, mm -hmm. which is very, very cool. Uh, 645. Oh. Opening ceremonies? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, and the snow sculptures, they're going to announce the winners uh, this evening as well at uh, 7.45, or 6.45, right, pardon right me. Up, and then 7 o'clock, of course, fireworks. Yeah. Really, you know, last year was fantastic display of fireworks. Where do they set up for that? Uh, they just, if you sit right underneath the harbor front, uh, the Way Cat Pavilion, they kind of come right across. Oh, nice. And it's beautiful. It was, last year was spectacular, so this year is going to be very, very good. Nice. So, uh, everyone, you know what? Come on down. Yeah. 6 o'clock, come get some free hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. You know, Shaw will we be, we will be there and we will be giving it out. Uh, and then just enjoy, come down to be a producer. It's going to be a fun, fun time. Very good. Yeah, this weekend is also jam packed because I mean, again, on Saturday, there's tons of events going on Saturday. The uh, Curl for Kidneys Fun Spiel. Yeah, absolutely. Going on. Which starts at 9 a.m. on Saturday. At the Kuwait and Curling Club. Absolutely. And at the Kenora Curling Club, there's something else too. Yes, I've heard. Uh, both curling clubs. Yep, there are things Get going on there. Yes. So it, it's you know what it's gonna be it's gonna be very very jam. It's so busy. It is busy. It's spring. It is spring, and we have a busy show because Chris Madsen is here from a dog's life, and she has brought two of the cutest puppies you ever have seen. Yeah. They are such they're adorable. She brought them in a little laundry basket, so she's gonna be on the show. <laughs> uh, and they came in a laundry basket. Oh, I know, eh? I'm melting. <laughs> Even a cold guy like me, I think they're cute. Aww. So, yeah. They've uh, got the biggest paws mm -hmm. and the cutest little <laughs> eyes. Sorry. She's just staring <laughs> off and they go, oh, look at the puppies in the side. Oh, there. that one? Okay. Yeah. No, no, you're back. Oh, okay, oh right geez. Right. We're going to be throwing off here. Floor directing, which camera we're on and everything. So, yeah, but other than that, it's, uh, it is going to be uh, a very good weekend. Lots to do. On a <laughs> Sunday, we should mention 9 a.m. free pancake breakfast. Mm. Correct. Under mm -hmm. the White Cap Pavilion, mm -hmm. uh, there is going to be. There's a lot of other things. Uh, closing ceremonies are 1:45 on Sunday. Okay. So there is a lot, lot going yeah, on. Yeah, it's a jam-packed weekend, isn't it? It is. It yeah. Very much is. So other than the uh, Winter Carnival, you're gonna just go ahead and check it out. Do you? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's. Uh, I'm just throwing it to the wind. Yep. I don't know what's going on. Fair you? enough. 
Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, tonight I'm going to sit with the, the kids and watch the fireworks. And then uh, I think we're going to take a lot of festivities, depending. The weather's going to be really nice, so we are going to try to get out. Yeah. Spend enough time inside. I think my son's going to be heartbroken that his snow forts are all pretty much destroyed. Uh, the nice weather, just, they all caved in. Those so. snow sculptures kind of hung in there, though, eh? Very impressively, yeah. yes. Yes, they yeah. did. So. I was thinking with all the melting and stuff, mm -hmm. and the sun beaming down those last few days. Oh, I know. I, I was thinking, ooh. Well, the one, the one where the, the guy uh, fishing, he lost his fishing pole. So oh. Now it kind of looks like he's just praying, yeah. which, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, we do want to go ahead and pray, but uh, yeah, they held up really well. And, they're and all, we named this Praying Fisherman. Uh, yes, he's praying for the fish to jump in his boat. <laughs> Very like the Sesame Street thing. He, he is fish, 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 fish. Jumps in. Um, <laughs> yeah, but they, they all looked really great. They all looked fantastic, all the snow, school, the snow sculptures. Yeah. And I don't know, it's, it's going to be a close, I think it's a close race to see which one wins. Mm -hmm. I think most people are saying the mermaid, but I don't know. That's a getter. That's the story that we're Oh, oh, so okay. we are going to uh, we're going to go uh, take a quick break and we're going to jump to a bit of a story on the snow sculpture. So, uh, awesome. and when we come back to that, Christine Madsen will be here. But for now, enjoy the story. Hi there, I'm Liam McGahey from Shaw TV. I'm asking people what their favorite snow sculpture is. So, Luke, which one is yours? I like the eagle because it's majestic. The eagle? Yeah, lots of people like that one. Majestic is a good word to describe it. Awesome. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day. I sort of like the mermaid. <laughs> I thought she looked sort of cute. <laughs> Which one's the mermaid? Uh, awesome, awesome. And what about you? Which one do you like, Jody? That you one? like this one? Yeah. The ice fishing? That's the fishing one. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice one. Yeah, for sure. Okay, guys, thank you. Enjoy your day. You're welcome. I, they're all my favorite. I love them all. I think they're absolutely exceptional. Have you yeah. seen the eagle? I have. The eagle looked like it took a lot of work, well, yeah. They all did for sure. I saw them when they were blocks and then took some pictures to send them to my Toronto family. Oh, that's nice. And yeah, so they're coming up, so they're going to see them. So no, they're awesome. Okay. okay. Well, thanks for your uh, time and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I would have to say the one with the eagle. Yeah, the eagle one is definitely a cool one. I think my favorite is the one way down there with the mermaid. It's really. Oh, yeah. Lots yeah. of people like the mermaid one. It seems like a favorite. All right, well, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Yeah, but I like all of the attempts at uh, being little yeah. artists. Have you seen the uh, frog one? Yeah, but briefly, if you're watching the road, you don't see it. Yeah, it is hard to look. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful day out, eh? Oh, yeah. All right, well, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Hi right, there. So which is your favorite ice sculpture? Uh, probably the second. Sculpture. The second one? Yeah, it's the frog, right? Yeah, it's a nice frog. Uh, one of our coworkers actually did that one. Her name's Shelly. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the beautiful day. Any of them down there? Yeah, I drove by them. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I think it's a good question. It's a mermaid the, one? The or mermaid, the, yeah. yeah. Everyone's been liking the mermaid. It was awesome. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. There's some cool stuff there. They're all winners, though. So yeah, exactly. They're all winners, all right. there, right? Yeah. So. Thank you for your time. Enjoy well, the rest well, of the beautiful you. day. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, hey, Christine. Welcome back. Yes, good morning. Hello. And I just want to quick question. Uh, that was a great job from our co-op kids. Uh, they're Liam and Lucas. They went out and shot that. That's a very, very good job to yeah. them. Yeah. Congratulations, gentlemen. Uh-huh. So, Chris. We have puppies. Who do we have? Two whiny puppies. No. <laughs> Where'd you they, find them? Where well, them? these, we, we got four of them when they were three weeks old. The mother had been killed. And... Mm -hmm. uh, so they had to be bottle fed for about uh, a week, and then Aww. they started. They eating. need mummies. <laughs> and they didn't have one, so yeah. Yeah. So there was four. Two got adopted. One uh, went to Thunder Bay yesterday. Nice. Mm. And uh, little Echo here. We have someone interested in her, mm -hmm. and uh, we just got Aww. the application yesterday. Aww. So that's just gonna leave Delta here, um, a male. Looks yeah. like he has some terrier in him. He's got the terrier face, so yeah. probably yeah. probably going to be a medium-sized dog. So nice. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so very nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, here let's 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 take Delta out too. Yeah. <laughs> let's get, let's get oh, Delta yeah. out of there. Oh, chicken! Are you going soft on his crash? Oh, I'm, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. So oh, very very nice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so we we have a busy weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow's our the kids' dog agility uh, 
fun run down yeah. at the harbor front at 11 and um, we're gonna have a couple dogs there so if people don't have a dog mm -hmm. we can provide one for them Ooh. so we have all the prizes for the kids and dogs so mm -hmm. everybody stuff. gets something it's Good not job. a competition mm -hmm. so you have a magic show coming yeah. up too eh? no we have a comedy show oh okay. comedy show on um, march 14th okay yeah, so the tickets, I don't think there's very many left. We'll probably sell out by next week, if we're not by this weekend. So cool. Okay. If people need want to go, they need to make sure they pick their tickets up. They're, they're only left now at Hojo, Coffee and Books, and Johnson's Pharmacy. So Okay. It's good. It's, yeah. Yeah. So. it's hard to have a conversation when you're trying to hold a dog in your lap. <laughs> So, uh, so and the, and the buttons, and things are going well yes, with that? Yes, buttons. I think we're up to about 2,600 that we've sold. Wow. So we normally have them pulled by now, but they're mm -hmm. still available at a few locations, and we're going to sell them all weekend, which we don't normally do, but this year we are. So. Okay. so oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, so... Look how big their paws are. How, how big are they going to grow? I, I don't think they're going to be uh, large dogs, maybe 50 pounds. Aww. I know their paws look big, but... And they seem very, they seem very attached. Like they're together. Like yeah. Siblings, right? Yeah. Ow, that's my finger. Mm. Yeah. So. Very, very good. So uh, how, are, how are the state of, uh, of dogs? Busy, busy. We're in desperate need of some foster homes. So mm -hmm. if anybody out there is... Um, <laughs> is uh, looking at uh, fostering or considering it give us a call we're also going to in a couple of weeks be holding a um, fostering seminar oh, really? one evening so if people if they have any questions we'll have some handouts and hopefully uh, get some interest excellent sometimes people you know to call or or that is difficult but stop by we haven't set up the location yet but okay. uh, well that should be good because people have questions they can answer he can ask them right there and right there and we'll information. have some people from foster from our foster families will be there to to uh answer questions too so and yeah. uh number of adoptions are you still yes we've had, yes yes it picked up this week actually ozzy got adopted now ozzy was a dog that was um dropped off at casey's okay quite badly injured oh. he was from manitoba and um he got adopted nice yeah oh, that's very good and treasure an older dog she was six uh, she got good. adopted excellent. this week so and two of the puppies got adopted and excellent so there is some interest in some of the other dogs so we're keeping our fingers crossed we get a few more adopted so excellent and i saw on your facebook that uh, rusk is looking for a yes for rusk mm -hmm. a place for him to go without cats so that sometimes makes it difficult yeah because he's very uh prey driven he sees them and just <laughs> focuses in yeah so i, I think there's a lot of the hostels there's, there's multitudes of animals yeah nowadays. Like yeah it's just if, uh, you know, before I used to see people like you, you're either a dog fan or you're a cat fan, you don't have both. But I think now, I think everybody kind of has, has both. both. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you doing there? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Jack script tastes good. <laughs> oh, he's chewed a hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, excellent. So, and then, so, uh, yeah, so the server, or not server, uh, dog agility contest, 11 a.m. on yeah. Saturday. And then out at the ski hill yep. in the afternoon for yep. the mushing for mutts, there's eight teams mm -hmm. from Winnipeg coming down oh, really? to race in it. Wow. Uh, and Amazing. then there's some local um, local people with some of the fun stuff. There's mm -hmm. kids can enter, and there's going to be some um, kids can try out the kick sled and, or go for a kick sled ride. So oh, that's cool. going to be a, a fun after. And the weather's supposed to be nice, not too okay. warm and. Still there, not, yeah. too, not too chilly. So. Yeah. Uh, so 18, like these teams are from the they're all scheduling teams. That they, mm -hmm. all, they do that. Well. Yeah, and so they do a circuit. They they go to Minneapolis, all through Manitoba. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So awesome. it'll be very interesting to watch. Absolutely. You know. It's gonna be it's gonna be very very fun yeah. to see. Yes. Oh, very good. So if people, if you are interested, you see a couple of these beautiful, beautiful dogs. Uh, Echo is <laughs> kind of snuggled in there very nicely. <laughs> uh, if you are interested in adopting. <laughs> They, uh, you can go to a dogslife.cc or on Facebook, which is facebook.com backslash a dog's life. You can also check us out at facebook.com backslash good morning Kenora, and we frequently link 
So if you yes. are interested in adopting, you go there. There are applications you can uh, you can grab and apply to be your own. I think. Uh, wow. You sort of soothed that dog. Yeah, she was quite upset when she came in. So Tracy has the touch. Look at that. <laughs> well, Chris, uh, thanks very much. I mean, yeah. always, always a pleasure and always come by. And, uh, I know I, we, we bumped into each other a few times yesterday. Yes, we did. But the, uh, do you want to give us a quick update on the other project? If you do anything about Oh, it? yes, uh, the calendar. Mm -hmm. uh, they're uh, just, it's coming along. Okay. So um, they're trying to finalize a photographer or plural photographers to do it. So, But uh, Angela Kuchma is just so pumped about it. She's just really excited. So... Well, it's it's a very I, I think it's very interesting. It's just it's not your normal yeah. everyday thing. So yeah. it is going to be very exciting, very cool to see yeah. when it's all done. So yeah, I think uh, there's someone here that should do it too. What's that? What now? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll tell you after. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, you. yeah. We'll sign you up and uh, yeah. we'll send you the email about where to be and when. Oh, <laughs> Does it involve like? Two hours of strenuous physical activity. No, not no. at all. No. Nothing like it's, that. You know what? It, it is, it's right up my alley, which is stand around and look pretty. So if you can do that, that's fine. <laughs> Chris, thanks very much for coming on. Thanks yep. for bringing uh, Delta and Echo. Yes. And uh, we will definitely probably see you this weekend. Yes, Enjoy for sure. Enjoy the weekend. And uh, if not, we'll see you very, very shortly. Uh, we're going to go to a quick break. Uh, and when we come back, we've got a little surprise for you. Oh, we'll see he's you falling me? asleep. One tree over its lifetime will remove about 40 tons of pollution from the atmosphere and replace it with pure air. Think what millions of trees will do. Help Tree Canada grow clean air. Trees do their part. Let's do ours. Go Kenora would like to thank Wind & Water Interiors for being a proud supporter of local television programming. Wind & Water Interiors, 326 2nd Street South. Welcome back, Welcome everyone. Back. Um, I'm excited. Right now, this is exciting. It's a weekend edition, and we are going to try something. Never done world premiere, or, well, Kenora premiere <laughs> of this. Uh, so we're going to try something. We, we have a very special segment uh, with our very, very special correspondent, Matt Kennedy. Hi, Matt. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Good? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing this morning, Chris? <laughs> I was going to say tonight, because I'm used to doing tonight shows. Oh, but today I'm doing a morning show. It's you very different for me. And thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. No problem. I know problem. that you are a, no uh, you know, a film producer and all this, so you've come to here to the morning show to talk to a little bit about um, what is going on in the big bad world. Yes, I am. Well, I'm actually good. wearing Jack's shirt right now, <laughs> um, so it fits me not as good as it could. Yeah. Uh, but we had to cover the logos I'm wearing right now because we don't have the rights to them. But anyway, <laughs> let's get to what's happening in the world. Yeah. You may have heard that uh, the Pope is uh, his official resignation is today. He's the first pope in 600 years, I believe, to resign. Mm -hmm. And uh, word is he, he decided to resign uh, because he got tired of the funny hat jokes. 
I oh. think <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's true, but you know, people say, uh, "Does the Pope wear a funny hat?" Well, all the time. Well, I imagine he, too, he if, had enough. If he's walking through doors and he doesn't bend down and knocks on the top of the door, yeah. people kind of giggle silently. Tired of it. I would get sick of that too. Jeez. Tired of it. Yeah, so uh, I heard this on CBC Radio this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Dennis Rodman, he is uh, in North Korea right now. Oh, good Just place. watched a baseball or a ba oh, baseball. <laughs> 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 he's not Michael Jordan, right? <laughs> uh, he uh, watched a basketball game with uh, the dictator Kim Jong Un. Ooh. And uh, he is now his friend for life. Wow, cool. And uh, apparently he went there in hopes that uh, Kim Jong-un would introduce him to Psy, Gangnam <laughs> style. Uh, apparently uh, they don't get along so well, but maybe a way to uh, well, hey, reunite you, North and South Korea. <laughs> through Gangnam <laughs> style. Yeah. And Dennis Rodman. Because if you ever, if you ever really, you know, your, your career kind of goes in the tank. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Dancing with the Stars or um, you can't get into that. Celebrity boxing, you can't get yeah. into that. Go to North Korea. Or you could just you know, lose your cell phone. Yeah. And then people talk about it. Oh, you know who lost their cell phone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think this is a reference nobody understands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so also today, uh, Canada, Ontario, it's Justin Bieber's birthday today. I love it. It's this camera. Oh. Um, hello. Uh, Justin Bieber's birthday today. He turns 19. Wow, that's stellar. That's yeah. a national holiday right there. I thought right he'd be there. like 25 by now or something. Oh, no, I think he started when he was like six. He's oh, now okay. legal drinking age in Ontario. I don't know if that's going to oh, make... Oh, look out. I don't know if that's going to oh, make oh, his boy. music more angsty or not. <laughs> well, I think... We'll see. I, I think more we're tortured. See, we're going to see some duets with Lindsay Maybe he'll Lohan. go country. Maybe the Bieber <laughs> Lohan hour. Perhaps. So, yeah. uh, a year... What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a year ago... He turned 18, of course, yeah. which means that all the uh, middle-aged moms uh, in the world can feel a lot better about themselves because their crush is no longer on a child. That's it's on uh, a legal adult. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, and finally, the word on the street in Kenora is yeah. that uh, the server scuffle is coming up. Uh, I'm new to knowing about the server scuffle, but A&W has apparently won years yeah, for years, year. says Chris. Yeah, the uh, A&W has traditionally... Um, killed beat, it. Killed it, owned it, destroyed, Yay. demolished. Um, Tracy Laffenstein. Uh, so. <laughs> Word on the street this year, though, is that Casey's is going to win. Oh. We'll see. Oh. They've been training. They've been training. That sounds like a challenge. It is a challenge. You know what? <laughs> Good for them. Thanks for letting me trend. <laughs> uh, I gotta go uh, meet up with Jay Leno in a bit, so. <laughs> Have peace. a trendy peace. day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Oh, that was neat. I'm still puppied out. I like I I, I love sucky dogs. You puppies? So I'm, yeah. yeah. You seem yeah. like you're sort of distracted by puppies. Oh, I totally yeah. That's okay. Are they gone? They're gone. It's Aww. very very good. So well, thanks Matt for coming in and uh, doing a little bit of a trending thing. We can try something new. You know, yeah. On the show and do different things. So yeah. it's pretty much fun. There is there is a lot That's going on. That's a nice kickoff to March, eh? Yeah. Spring. What's happening? Absolutely. And Dennis Rodman. You know, I haven't heard of that guy doing anything forever. And then no. all of a sudden he shows up in North Korea. I wonder if he still dyes his hair blonde. I would imagine. I think yeah. he probably does still does That's some weird, thing, hey? weird stuff. No. It's I find it funny how a lot of these stars, like Dennis Rodman, is huge. Like re, uh, when he was playing with Jordan, mm. he had the all-time rebound record, like, all these things, and then all of a sudden he just sort of went <laughs> and exploded. Mm. So yeah, just a career took Maybe a it's that celebrity uh, lifestyle thing. I think so. I think that's why Justin Bieber turning 19 is a huge deal, because I'm, I think we should start a pool to see how long it takes him to go into rehab. Oh, so, yeah. well, yeah. I don't know. He, can't, he seems pretty straight-laced. Well, so did Lindsay Lohan. And Not Britney really. No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, I don't think Lindsay Lohan really. Freaky Friday was no, kind of nice. And, so. and, you know, the, the first few songs from, from Ms. Spears were, were foreshadowing, I think. Yeah, that's very, very yeah. true. So, yeah. Um, But, yeah, so in, in getting into the weekend, uh, just like Monday we have a great show. Diane Schwartz-Williams is going to be here on Monday. Yes. Uh, talk a little bit about the Northwest Business Center, which yeah. is kind of fun. So go out, enjoy the weekend, great weekend, winter carnival. See you 6 o'clock under the Whitecap Pavilion. Have a great day. Happy spring. Bye. Six, six minutes. Six minutes. Oh, six minutes. Oh, okay. Hello. I, thought, <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Jack said that's the show. And I'm like, okay. So there we go. Never mind. So let's, let, let's retract. Let's okay. Retract. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, Matt, when you come back in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way now. <laughs> um, so the uh, Winter Carnival, uh, again, tonight, 6 o'clock, free hot chocolate down underneath the, uh, the tent. Mm -hmm. Shaw will be there. We'll have a camera set up.
Yeah. And uh, you can be your own producer. Mm -hmm. So come down, play with the camera, check it out. Mm -hmm. Shaw Bear will be down there giving out uh, giving out some hugs. And, and uh, announcing you know. the snow sculpture winners. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. and is, that. That, is that absolutely secret right now? Is that, have I, they already chosen? Or? I do believe so. I think it, the, the winter's all done. Yeah. yeah they did winter's winter of the week because with the nice weather, okay. they were afraid that they would melt. Okay. So they've done all that, and now it's just the announcement at 645 tonight. So the winners already know they've won? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. I think they're just going to announce it tonight. They, everybody, they've chosen, but they haven't announced it yet. So, yeah. very good. And then seven o'clock, uh, the fireworks. Yes. Which is very, very good. I mean, they, they, I mean, the other three fireworks we have, we have Harbor Fest, Canada Day, and uh, and uh, this tonight. Mm -hmm. This one is actually very, very well. Yeah. Like, really, because they can get on the ice, so they can get closer, and it looks a little bit more. We're not allowed to stand on the ice, though, are we? I don't believe so. No. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a free country. <laughs> you can really do whatever you need to, but uh, I don't. I think they pretty much cordon off, so you can't get so close. But yeah, if you yeah. can get on the ice, you can stand on the ice. You can do your thing. Yeah. So yeah, so it'd be pretty good. And then on Saturday, uh, starting at 10 a.m., the uh, Matielski Winners Farmer Market and Craft Show at the Discovery Center. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, I want to check that out too. Yeah, it's and boot hockey is on. Yeah. Um, sponsored by the uh, Copperfin Credit Union. Yes, and the. Uh, Kenora Army Reserve demo. Uh, the one thing I'm sad about is the tug of war between there's the Army and the, the emergency services. Yeah. That has been canceled. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, it, it has been. Uh, uh, Marshal Dave Kane was here yesterday, and he uh, he did apologize and say that, unfortunately, they just they Marshall. Uh, Constable, I just call him Marshall because he's it sounds cooler. Oh. Yeah, Texas Walker, Walker, Texas Ranger, Marshall. They have a bit of a more ring. He's an important guy. <laughs> so, uh, but he did say that uh, their council just lack of interest, so he can't can't do it. Uh, unfortunately, but then uh, getting also there's some family entertainment. The server scuttle at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, dog agility yeah. contest. But we've weather. also got the curling, the the uh, yep. curl for kidneys fun spiel. Absolutely, Saturday uh, nine o'clock in day. the morning, all day, uh, four end games, one hour max, two guys and two girls. It's going to be very very good. Yep. All the proceeds it goes to a really really great cause. Goes to Lakewood District Hospital Foundation to dialysis their uh, dialysis ward. ward, yeah, which Importante. is really good. Uh, Shaw has a team being put in, so right we're help. And our very own uh, Jeff Strachan is going to go and he's going to curl a couple of ends. Mm -hmm. So, you know, can, very good to him. And, and there's going to be really great food available all day. Absolutely. Yes. So in the lake life, it's a lake life, so you can, the people will be dressed up in lake life attire. And so yeah. check that out as well. It is going to be a very... Uh, very good time. We also have to spring forward our clocks in a few weeks. Yes. Yes. Very true. You know what? I almost forget about that. So you spring forward. So don't yeah. forget to set your clocks and do all that. I think nowadays with the, uh, it's, it, uh, it's very easy. So let's, yeah. uh, let's no, but that now let's spring into weather. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the uh, good morning current weather brought to you by Casey's high of minus seven today and a low of minus 17. Uh, with some sunshine, which is good. Tomorrow, a high of minus 5 and a low of minus 17 with more sun. Nice day on Saturday. Sunday, high of minus 3, low of minus 9 with some snow. And on Monday, the best day of the week, high of minus 3 and a low of minus 9 with right a little on. more snow. Right on. So, yeah. And I just, for the viewers, I do, you know what? Do not host morning shows uh, when you have a cold. Oh. It makes you just... <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh, oh. oh. Yes, do not be spreading the germs, the Shaw Bear says. Yeah, Hello. welcome Shaw Bear. So uh, tonight you can come down, you can get some, uh, hey, oh. uh, I don't know if he's trying to eat my brain. Yeah. So, uh, but today, uh, tonight we're going to uh, see the Shaw Bear. Come on down oh, and say hi. Oh, you want to get some love too? Yeah. Yay. It's very, very nice. <laughs> so remember, 6 o'clock tonight uh, at the harbor uh, under the tent. So yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, he's going to be there. Get your picture taken. Bring the kids. Mm hmm. Come yeah. on down. It's going to yeah. be very, lots and lots of fun. Yeah. And don't forget also on Sunday to wrap it all up, 9 a.m., pancake breakfast. Mm. So you don't want to miss that as well. Yeah. That is going to be very good. And one of my favorite things uh, is the uh, Great Canadian Canoe Race. Yes. That's very good. 12 30. Very, very fun stuff. Yeah. Last year, I mean, it's just very cool to see them kind of break through the ice and paddle through. And <laughs> a, a team a team actually went in the drink. Oh, so it was very nice. Tracy, oh, well. you're just an animal lover. <laughs> Puppies, <laughs> shaw bears. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Aww. <laughs> Aww, the shaw bear. Aww. So, so bundle up tonight. Um, it's gonna it's gonna get a little chilly out there, mm -hmm. isn't it? 
Yeah. Or you can just get some snuggles from him and, and stay warm. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's going to be a good time, but uh, you know, check it out, everyone. It's going to be it's going to be fantastic. And again, um, on the Monday show, Diane Swartzwaite will be here with the Northwest Business Center. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> he's uh. <laughs> it's getting a little creepy. Right? So on the weekend, there, there, there are a lot of things going on. So you can uh, you can check out a lot of stuff. But don't forget Winter Carnival. And your buttons, your buttons are still good if you're out and about uh, with all four buttons. Wear your four buttons. And we will see you either tonight, this weekend on Harborfront, or on Monday. Have fun out there. Have a great weekend. Yeah, see you on a Monday. This episode of GMK was brought to you by Devil's Gap Marina, located at the end of Matheson Bay Road on beautiful Lake of the Woods and open all year round.